If you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable place to get your FIFA Ultimate Team coins, check the link in the description and use the code ETONI to get 5% off. What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are actually going to be showing the FIFA 17 official player ratings. Now EA have gone and revealed 20 of the top 50 and uh, this is the first time they've done it where they've actually revealed 20 of them straight away. Not 10, but 20. So FIFA 17 official ratings very exciting stuff make sure you check out g2a their link will be in the description if you look to buy psn cards microsoft points or cheap pc games also let me know in the comment section below if you actually agree with these ratings or not so we have Blaze matweedy he has 86 overall this time 79 pace 83 defending with 84 physical is actually pretty nice i think he's going to be one of the more expensive cars obviously now a lot of these plays are going to be expensive because it is the top 50 so blaze matweedy is actually going to be the best i think central defensive mid in the league one so we have marcelo left back holy shit he's 86 rated i think that's around the same rating as last year or I think he's gone down by one, I'm not too sure, but 79 pace, a bit on the slowish side. I'm not too sure how we could look at these players because I'm not sure how big of an impact pace is in FIFA 17. 82 defending, 80 physical, 80 passing, pretty good, pretty good stats. 84 dribbling is really high for a left back as well, that's really nice stats right there. 86, I think he's going to be very expensive. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang still at 96 pace. He's maintained that 96 pace. I think he's 86 overall, pretty high this time. 80 dribbling, 71 physical and 75 passing. 75 passing on a striker is insanely high with 4-star weak foot, 3-star skills. Pretty damn awesome stats. Payet, 86, but this time, as default, he's a left midfielder, which is pretty bad, but um, we'll see. Uh, obviously, would have preferred him to be a centre attacker mid, but that's where he's been playing. Uh, that's the position he's been playing at. He does have some pretty low stats for a 86 overall. I mean, his highest stat is his passing and dribbling, but he does have 70 physical, which is pretty nice. But 77 pace, 78 shooting. Hmm, it's going to be interesting to see. Four star, four star is pretty nice. Robin, huge downgrade, 87 now, 86 pace, 90 dribbling, 85 shooting. Um, pretty pretty nice stats actually, like if you compare him to Payet, some big boosts in stats. I mean Payet has only a bit more defending and a bit more physical, but look at the other, the rest. Like sometimes, the, I think this is just more of a popularity rating rather than how good a player is. Then we have Rodriguez, 87 overall, 76 pace, 85 dribbling, 85 shooting, 85 passing. Um, I think he's going to be an insane player to use as a sense attack in mid. I think he has everything you really need. Maybe he might be a bit weak. 68 physical isn't too high, but we're going to have to look at the in-game stats. All right, David Silva, left midfield of 68 pace. Not much else to say. 87 passing, 87 dribbling is really nice. Also, two-star weak foot. Can't see this guy going for much. All right, so Benzema, 87 uh, as his overall rating and 81 pace, 82 dribbling, 84 shooting, 74 physical, 77 passing. Again, his card stats, a bit on the low side for an 87 overall. Let me know if you agree in the comment section below. I'm not sure about Benzema here. He looks good. He looks like a really balanced card, but I don't know if he actually has an 87 stated card. I don't know. We'll see. Four star, four star, it all, it's all going to come down to what he has in his in-game stats. I think he's a very balanced card, he could be great, but he could be very bad as well. Vidal, I think he is a perfect central midfielder. He also still has high and high work rates. Um, I think he's going to be insane in the game. And I wish he was still at Juve, so we could have tried him out in Serie A. But there's nothing to say, this guy could have made his own Vidal club again. He just, has, he just needs one inform. Unless EA is going to keep increasing pace by one. But one in four, and you will have like crazy stats and everything above 80 maybe. Then we have Sergio Biscuits and he has 42 pace this time. 83 defending, 81 physical, 79 passing, 74 dribbling. Pretty nice stats. Uh, it really comes down to what sort of midfielder you're looking for. What sort of holding midfielder. 42 pace is very low. And we don't know how much of an impact pace is in FIFA 17. So let's head over to the next top 10 and uh, let's see how they will be rated. 
All right, so next up we have Samir Handanovic, 87. Wow, he's one of the highest rated goalkeepers here. I am actually surprised that they've actually increased Handanovic to 87 overall. That's actually pretty sick. 88 defending, 77 physical, 74 passing, 71 dribbling. Now, those stats for a centre-back are insane. 71 dribbling is pretty awesome, I have to say, uh, for a centre-back. 77 physical is a bit on the low side as well, but 88 defending, he's going to be an awesome centre-back. 64 pace should be okay, I think. I'm not sure, like I, like I said, how much of an impact pace is going to have in the game, but he has one of the best-looking cards for a centre-back. Let's see. It'll be interesting to see if there's going to be low-rated centre-backs that have very similar stats. It's going to be pretty awesome to look at when EA released the full database. All right, so Muller is uh, 87 overall centre-forward. He has some nice-looking stats, a bit on the low side. Look at those. A lot of them in the 70s as an 87 overall player. The only stat he has in the 80s is 83 shooting so it actually doesn't make sense how does he have an 87 overall card but then again it all comes down to in-game stats so it's gonna be interesting to look at Muller's in-game stats all right so Di Maria look at that he's an 87 overall but look how many stats he has in the 80s he has three stats in the 80s very nice physical as well 70 for a right winger is pretty nice 79 shooting I think he's going to be an amazing player, just like this year. I really like the Maria this year, and I think he's going to be an amazing uh, right winger in FIFA 17. Sanchez, okay, 86 pace, 88 dribbling, 82 shooting. I think Sanchez looks insane. I think Sanchez actually looks awesome. I can't wait to try out this guy because not only does he have very high physical, he has really good pace as well, and very nice dribbling. I think dribbling will be less robotic like in FIFA 17 so it's going to be a lot better 79 passing I think this guy I really probably one of the best looking players I've seen right now in this top 20 then we have Rakitic 66 pace 82 dribbling 84 shooting 59 defending 86 pace 66 physical he's one of the better looking materials I have seen from this top 20 um, just because it comes down to some of the midfielders, it's actually pretty nice for them to be a bit slower because then it will be easier to get to pick out passes and so on and so forth and it won't let you keep just holding the sprint button the whole time. I think Rakitic actually looks like a very nice central midfielder, one of the better looking ones, a very balanced card, even though he could be on the slow side and a bit on the weak side. So, we have Oblak, wow! I think they've increased goalkeeper ratings a lot. Oblak, Handanovic, that is crazy. Uh, there's not much to say about goalkeepers. No, no point really talking about them. They could be all. They, they could pretty much all feel the same, you know. Just like FIFA 16. Then we have Benucci. This is a very surprising rating, 87, and I think he actually deserves it, so I'm actually going to give credit to EA. 87 for Bonucci, I think he has a way better, he had a way better season than Chiellini, so it'll be interesting to see if Chiellini is going to be higher rated or not. Um, 70 pace, 87 defending and 81 physical, again it doesn't make too much sense, his passing should be a bit higher. Because if you guys watch the Euros, this guy has some insane Pirlo passes. So I think I disagree with the passing there, but uh, I actually agree with all the other stats. He is going to be an insane centre-back to use. Alaba, 87 rated as well, 86 pace, 83 dribbling, 83 defending, 73 physical, 73 shooting and 81 passing. He could be the best left back in the game, honestly. Those stats are just amazing. So I think he's going to go for a shit ton of money. Loris, the final player to look at. Very high rated goalkeeper. I think they've increased goalkeepers. Like the popularity of goalkeeper stats at the top has increased a lot higher than last year. I think they've been a bit more lenient with that. So it's going to be interesting to see with the next uh, 30 plays or yeah, the next 30 plays they're going to reveal. So it's going to be interesting to see if Messi is going to be high rated than Ronaldo. Let me know in the comment section below if you think Messi is still going to be higher rated than Ronaldo in FIFA 17. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hit the like button if you did and hopefully you have a very nice day.